All right, we're going to take a look at this month's market report. This is going to be July 2016 version for Rochester, Minnesota residential market report. So we're going to look at all stats through June of each year, all the way back to 2010. So you can see how your investment's doing or if it's a good time for you to possibly capitalize on your investment or maybe even purchase a home. So either list a home or sell a home, we're going to give you all the details on that and all local numbers as well. So first off, we're going to look at sold listings this year. So sold listings are down 14.3%. From last year which were 1300 so we're down a little bit year over year but still a very very strong year in 2016 comparatively it is the second best year we've had all the way back to 2010 we were, we were the low was actually 2011 809 so we're still about 300 homes up from the low in the past six years and down a little bit from a very strong year last year and we're gonna see why that is there's just not enough homes on the market to stay at that pace so that's the sales. We are still doing very strong down a little bit from last year. But again, if you had ever tried to sell your home in one of these prior years and you're seeing, whoa, there's a lot more home selling than back when I tried, we're even going to show you a little more information that might uh, get your wheels spinning. The next thing we're going to look at is the actual values of those homes. So yes, we're selling less, but that's driving the value up because now there's less inventory, so you have a little more control. So this is a very good number to look at. So we're up 8.9%. We're at 230,000 as the average sale price last year, 211,000, and the low was 174, just steadily in, increasing. So 174, so that's about 60, that's about 56 thousand dollars in value in a matter of six years. So just think about that number. Possibly you're sitting on a possible 56 thousand dollar increase in your um, home's value in a matter of six years. Now, obviously this is average numbers, but this is a great opportunity to reach out to one of our agents and find out what the actual value of your home is and see if it's even worth more. Maybe it's less or maybe it's right on that number so you guys can capitalize on that investment. So great signs for the values of the homes here in Rochester. Um, if you do possibly list your home, here's how fast they're selling. The sold days on the market are down 27%. We're at 51. Last year we were at 70. So 51 days on the market when a home is listed to sale. And then the high, the peak was 2011, which was 146, almost three times the length the homes were sitting on the market. So again, if you possibly are looking at it, great signs there. And here is the ultimate sign for you as a seller or a possible seller is your competition. How much inventory is out there? We're down 22% from last year where we were at 490. We're at 382 active listings in Rochester. So 382 residential homes. So again, 1,000 back in 2011, 1,200 back in 2010. So again, if you tried to sell, you, you, did, you didn't get what you wanted and it didn't sell. Look at how much competition you have now. The values are up. The sales are there. It's a great opportunity. Just get a free market analysis. See if, if it's worth your time and energy to maybe list your home in today's market. Contact one of our agents and it will be a free complimentary market analysis specific to your home.